Hi, I'm Jitendra Mohan, co-founder and CEO of Estera Labs. Hi, I'm Sanjay Gajendra, co-founder, CEO and president of Estera. Hi, I'm Casey Morrison, co-founder and chief product officer of Estera Labs. 2024 has been an extremely exciting year for Estera Labs, as we have achieved many important company milestones. From going IPO back in March, to expanding our intelligent connectivity platform with our Scorpio Smart Fabric Switch portfolio. The company continues to scale aggressively with the goal of being the premier connectivity supplier in the AI and cloud infrastructure market. What hasn't changed is the model continues to grow at an unbelievable pace. We are already talking about two trillion parameter models. And these GPUs continue to stay underutilized, 50% at the peak. Let me hand it over to Casey to talk about how we solve the problem of interconnecting all these GPUs and improving their utilization. Thanks, Mahendra. I'd like to talk about the evolving challenges of AI systems and how we have products to address those challenges. Here we see the anatomy of an AI server, emphasizing the high-speed connectivity channels between the key compute elements and the resources they rely on. On the left is the scale-up back-end fabric of the AI server, consisting of a dense mesh network of interconnected AI accelerators or GPUs. Our new Scorpio Smart Fabric X-Series switches are architected to deliver the highest back-end GPU-to-GPU bandwidth with platform-specific customization through our software-defined architecture and Cosmos software stack. We also see a large and growing opportunity for back-end connectivity solutions across our Ares, Taurus, and Scorpio product lines for copper connections today and complemented by optical connectivity over time. Moving to the right side of the AI server diagram illustrates the high-speed connectivity links moving data from the GPU cluster to its various resources, such as the AI headnode CPUs, networking, memory, and storage. Data exchange between the AI accelerators and these resources is achieved predominantly through PCIe connectivity, which is now scaling to its sixth generation to support 64 gigatransfers per second per lane throughput. Our new Scorpio Smart Fabric P-Series switches are architected for mixed traffic head node connectivity across a diverse ecosystem of PCIe hosts and endpoints. Additionally, the varied topologies and resource mixtures present increased opportunities for Ares retimers and emerging applications for our Leo CXL memory controller solutions. Finally, in the center of the illustration, we have the high-speed connectivity pipe that allows the AI server to scale out data to the broader network utilizing both PCIe and Ethernet. We believe the trend of higher bandwidth requirements and a diverse set of scale-out topologies present growing opportunities for our Taurus Ethernet Retimer and Smart Cable Module product families. Now I'll hand it over to Sanjay to talk about our opportunities. All right, thank you, Casey. Estera Labs is well positioned to outpace industry growth rates through a combination of strong, secular tailwinds and the expansion of our silicon content opportunity for AI platforms. The new Scorpio Fabric Switch devices this puts us in a completely different league in terms of the value that we offer to our AI platform solution providers. It enables critical GPU to GPU clustering application as well as the interconnection of GPU to the head node connectivity. This use cases and the Scorpio portfolio opens up a tremendous opportunity in terms of the value we offer and the time that we unlock for us to grow our business. Ares PCIe Smart Retimer continues to be the workhorse in the industry, addressing several different deployment of AI servers, both based on third-party GPUs from providers like NVIDIA, AMD, and others, as well as addressing the internal ASIC or accelerators being developed by the hyperscalers. In these internally developed AI servers, we get to play not just in the head node connectivity, but also in the backend GPU to GPU clustering application where each GPU needs to connect to every other GPU offering tremendous amount of opportunities for us to grow our business. Next, let me talk about the Taurus smart cable modules. These modules are now being deployed at 400 gig Ethernet application 
both for general compute application as well as AI server application. This is providing the growth in terms of revenue that we expect in the second half of 2024 and going forward in 2025. 800 gig, we expect a more broader deployment of AEC or active electrical cables offering many opportunities as we grow this business. CXL continues to evolve in terms of deployment as well as use cases that can benefit from it. Today, our Leo CXL controllers are deployed in pre-production racks to support memory and database applications in general purpose compute systems. So we do expect this to continue to grow and 2025 to be a year when we expect our CXL business to continue to ramp in terms of production value. Last but not least is our Cosmos based intelligent connectivity platform. This platform brings all of our products together in terms of enabling our customers to manage their fleet better, optimize the performance, customize it to their unique infrastructure requirements, and most importantly, enable a secure way of deploying AI infrastructure at scale. So in summary, there are many opportunities for Estera to grow with the increasing value that we are offering with each of our product. It allows us to grow our revenue in terms of the higher BOM content as well as increased ASP for each of our devices. With that, let me hand it back to Jitendra. Thank you, Sanjay. Uh, in summary, Estera Labs is well positioned to outpace industry growth rates over the long term. We see strong secular tailwinds, increasing platform volumes, and our expanding product portfolio, including the Scorpio family, driving higher dollar content per AI platform. But that is not all. We are hard at work identifying and developing new products that over time will expand Astera's footprint from IO class devices deployed largely within the rack to fabric class devices connecting AI accelerators over copper cables and optical media across the data center. We are addressing the right markets with the right team to deliver the right products to our customers. There is a lot more to come. Stay tuned.